what I really want to have happen is that this type of thing takes on steroids and becomes a movement where we take millions and millions of people to D.C. Right now, Mainers are standing against the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. Today, the court dissolved nearly half a century of federal legal protections for women seeking abortions, opening the door for states to make their own laws. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Samantha York in for Amanda Hill. While the court's final ruling to overturn Roe versus Wade was not a surprise considering the leaked majority opinion from seven weeks ago, it was still met with anger all over the country. That includes Maine's governor who had some choice words today for the court, which actually issued two rulings on abortion this morning. The first in a six to three decision, the court upheld a Mississippi law that prohibits abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. However, in the ruling that overturned Roe v. Wade, Chief Justice John Roberts sided with the liberal minority who wanted to keep Roe's federal protections in place. So what does today's landmark ruling overturning Roe v. Wade actually do? In a nutshell, it eliminates remaining federal constitutional protections for women seeking abortions, protections based on a woman having control over her privacy and her own body. With those gone, states will now have to decide whether to allow abortion services to continue within their borders or make it illegal to have one or for health care providers to administer one. Thirteen states, the ones in orange, already have so-called trigger laws on the books created to take effect the instant the court decided to toss Roe v. Wade. In fact, clinics in at least two states, Wisconsin and West Virginia, stopped performing abortions today. The states in red are the ones that are expected to pass some sort of anti-abortion legislation in the near future. As you can see, Maine is not one of them. And while some conservatives and religious organizations in the state welcome today's ruling, Governor Janet Mills did not mince words when she spoke with reporters about what she thinks of today's rulings. As New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry reports, many people are echoing what the governor had to say. What on earth have we come to? What on earth are they thinking? Governor Janet Mills noticeably distraught while talking about the Supreme Court's decision to overturn the 50-year precedent of Roe versus Wade. It's pretty clear that several judges before they went on the Supreme Court simply lied to the Congress of the United States and lied to the American people. Governor Mills says this isn't just about abortions. Men and women have a right to birth control. Well, that's in the right of privacy that the court acknowledged at that time that this court says doesn't exist. She says as long as she's governor, Mainers will have access to safe and legal abortions. Nicole Clegg at Planned Parenthood of Northern New England agrees. These aren't the values of Americans and they're certainly not the values of Mainers. Clegg adds that Planned Parenthood of Northern New England has already seen a number of patients from states with stricter abortion laws and plans to continue to do so. There will be confusion and we will get called from people not sure if abortion is still legal and available to them. So I think it's incredibly important for us to be very clear that abortion is still safe and legal in Maine. Some Maine organizations agree with the opinion. The Portland Diocese writes in a statement, today's decision reaffirms the truth that every life is sacred and it promotes protection for women and children from the grave injustice of abortion. We welcome the possibility of saving the lives of countless unborn children, as well as sparing many women and families from pain. Maine Right to Life offers a similar comment, saying this is a victory for women, the unborn and pro-life movement that has worked so hard to save and promote life. For far too long, pro-abortion groups have gotten away with the sky is falling argument that overturning Roe would outlaw abortions or reverse abortion rights. They wanted people to believe that reversing Roe would automatically outlaw abortion. I'm in downtown Portland outside City Hall. As you can see behind me, there is probably hundreds of people at this rally for abortion rights. They, this is planned by, plan, par, planned by Planned Parenthood, excuse me, but like some of the folks we spoke to today, we also got a comment from former Governor Paula Page, who's running again as the Republican candidate. Part of his statement reads that Maine state law already 
prohibits abortion after viability, and our laws should keep pace with modern medical technology. Meanwhile, Governor Mills has asked anyone who was out at a rally like this today to stay calm and try not to get into any sort of violent situation. But for now, I'll send things back to you, Pat. Jackie Mundry at Portland City Hall tonight. Thank you. Maine's representatives in Congress are all condemning today's overturning of Roe v. Wade. Chief among them, Senator Susan Collins, who said today that the court has abandoned a 50-year precedent at a time when the country is desperate for stability. That word precedent figured heavily when Collins was considering whether to vote to confirm former President Trump's three Supreme Court nominees. When the leaked draft opinion came out in May, she repeatedly stated that both Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch had assured her that Roe v. Wade was settled law and she voted to confirm them. Collins voted not to confirm Trump's third pick, Amy Coney Barrett, but that was on procedural grounds. Collins came under fire when she voted to confirm Kavanaugh, who was accused of sexually assaulting a woman when they were both teenagers. That charge dominated Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing. But when Collins met with him before the vote, she told reporters as far as Roe v. Wade was concerned, she had confidence in how he would rule. Uh, we talked about whether he considered Roe to be settled law. He said that he agreed with what Justice Roberts said at his nomination hearing, in which he said that it was settled law. Maine's other senator, Independent Angus King, says, quote, this ruling goes against the wishes of the majority of Americans and lays a terrifying groundwork for this court to unravel many other hard-earned civil rights in the years ahead. As for the members of the House, Congresswoman Shelley Pingree actually went to the Supreme Court to be with others protesting the decision. We're here to say that, uh, you know, we can't let this stand. We're going to do everything we possibly can. But people are really angry, hurt. Um, we're just so mad. That's it. And Congressman Jared Golden said in a statement, quote, today's decision should remind us just how important it is to fight for state legislative majorities that will safeguard the right of a woman to make private decisions about her body.